morning everyone let's start a new session of the international webinar with uh, our new speaker dr seema ma'am let me start a session with a new quote life does not get easier or more forgiving we get stronger and more resilient so starting a new chapter of the learning i the host of the day sakshi narayan is going to have a event with a warm greetings and a good morning to all you all of you who are present here i hope everyone is doing amazing on behalf of sense family i welcome you all in today's international webinar on the topic resilience and also i welcome to our guest of honor dr seema negi it's a great honor with, for us to have her with, along with us in our new session of the international webinar now please allow me to introduce my in organization sense welfare foundation is a non profit entity established to work in the areas of education social welfare women empowerment skill development and entrepreneurship livelihood generation employability health and research international corporation sports environment protection and many other similar sectors we promote healthy lives a balanced and active community and a strong business now i would like to introduce today's speaker dr seema negi is a global goodwill ambassador director principal of sanjeevni world school mumbai and a life coach she lives by the principle i am because we are being a visionary dr seema negi has a leadership has always been a dynamic and a passionate she has prevailed in the field of education for more than two decades she firmly believe each child is a new canvas and we as a educator we need to create a masterpiece she is associated with many educational and social organization and a contribution of her of her efforts for the betterment of the educational system and society she attends various conferences events summits as a speaker moderator and a panelist at national and international platforms learning sharing empowering and hand holding is what she believes in and she contributes her con uh, considerable amount of time for the same she is the best rope with many prestigious awards her work is recognized by world book of records uk in personal and pers uh, professional categories thank you so much and good morning good afternoon good evening from whichever part of the world you are joining you know because we have people who might be joining from different part of the world and that is the beauty of being online you know and we are going to talk about resilience today we never thought that sitting at our own home some day we will be attending webinars we will be learning this was never our kind of learning we were very people centric people that okay we'll go to school we'll go to college and this is how we will learn but now learning has become more dynamic and that is where our skill of resilience plays a major role so let me begin with what resilience means for you and me and how we can be a better resilient people when we talk about our own self so today what we are going to do is for next half an hour to 45 minutes we'll be building resilience and after that we will be deliberating on different questions that whatever you will have it can be question it can be situation it can be your thought whatever feel free to discuss it towards the end of the session now let me move ahead and sometime okay going well so if i start in a very very cliche manner which usually we do we first come to the definition okay so rather than telling you the definition if i show you this rubber band okay basically this is what resilience is when we pull ourselves to the maximum but still we have the capacity to bounce back the capacity to bounce back is called resilience okay it speaks about your ability you are ready to bounce back however difficult the situation is then you come up with a new way to navigate your own life you know you see in adversity you see challenges and you are very well set in your mind you know first you need to change your mindset you are very well set in your mind that how you have to go ahead when it comes to moving ahead keeping all the challenges aside so that is resilience bouncing back and this is one word which has been used i think number of time during the pandemic but now each one of us we have bounced back the pandemic and we are here together now uh, let me take you to a different mindset altogether you know this is based on research 
that to reach 50 million users, you know, these products that I'm going to talk to you about now, how much time did they require for airlines to reach 50 million users? It took 68 years for automobile. It took 62 years for telephone, 50 years, electricity, 46 years, credit card, 28 years, television, 22 years, ATM, 18 years, computers, 14 years, cell phone, 12 years. Internet, seven years. iPod, four years. YouTube, four years. Facebook, three years. Twitter, two years. And Pokemon, just 19 days. So when I say this, what I really want to tell you is we have learned how to move ahead, right? To, to, to reach to 15 million people or to reach to 15 million users, Pokemon just took 19 days. So this is how we move ahead. And that is what resilience is all about moving ahead irrespective of however the situation is and coming out with the innovative ideas. Now, what is resilience basically? As I told you, it is your ability to bounce back. You work through the challenges. You do not see challenges as obstacles. You overcome them. And trust me, each one of you will have a story of resilience. Whatever life you have lived in now, how many summers you have seen, whatever is your age, there were times when there were challenging moments. There were times when you felt that, oh, I cannot do it, but you still did it. That was your moment of resilience. That was your moment of overcoming challenges and moving ahead. So in the word of Aristotle, if I'll have to tell you, you know, anyone can become angry. We all do, right? So it is very, very easy to become angry, but to become angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is simply not easy. So you need to know when you have to show which kind of emotion. You need to know when you need to be angry. You need to know when you need to let things go. When you master these skills, you truly become a resilient person. So when we talk about resilience, and if I'll give you one minute to think about I think most of you might have some story of being resilient. Think about the moment. Were there times when you wanted to give, when you wanted to give away, when you wanted to give up, when you thought life has come to an end, but still you went ahead? Just one moment. Think about it and write in the chat box. Think about it. When was the time when you want, when you really wanted to give away? You wanted to, you thought that, no, this is what it is. I can't, I can't go ahead of this. But then life told you, no, let's move ahead. Were there these kind of moments in your life? You can just write yes or no. That is just to set the tone of the entire session. So I will know that yes, each one of you had your own battle and each one of you were willing to come out of that. So the sessions need to be interactive so it becomes, you know, good for the speaker also. So what we can't control, that is one thing. What we can't control, we feel, okay, this is the situation. It is beyond my control. But how you are responding to the situation that is completely in your hand. So yes, you cannot control the situation, but you can control how you respond. And that is what is important. So quickly, let me take you, it is a walkthrough time for 10 ways to build resilience. And I can see written in the chat box, yes. Oh, when I had gone through the phase of operation for tumor, yes, there are times when our health is not proper. There are times when we feel, okay, this has happened to me. Maybe this is the most difficult time of my life, but then we do not give up. We move ahead. That is what is the best quality about being human. Now, how are the ways that we can build this resilience? First is make connection. It is very important that we make good relation, make connections with people, with our family members, with friends, with others. It is very, very important because we are social animals. We are human beings. We cannot live in isolation. We need to have people around us. But how will we have people around us if we are not willing to make connection? So this is what you need to know is invest your time and efforts in making connection. Second is avoid seeing crisis as insurmountable problem. Crisis not, is not something that is going to take away everything from your life. Pandemic came, COVID hit us badly, but we all sailed through. So at times, crisis come for good. Crisis has told us this learning can happen through online mode also, which we never thought about. So we have to see crisis as a situation which is challenging us 
forcing us to do something which we have never done. So it is said, do not waste good crisis. Whatever kind of the crisis it is, consider that it is good to experiment something, to experience something and to move ahead with the determination that yes, we have to overcome it. So it is not a kind of problem which cannot be eliminated. So you can't change the fact that there will be time you will be highly stressful. There will be events which will be highly stressful. But you can change how you interpret and respond to this event. Something happened which was extremely, extremely, extremely disruptive. But how do you respond to it? Do you respond to it with anxiety, with anger, with frustration? If you do that, that negative emotion will stay with you. If you will interpret it, why this happened? Is there something else that I can do so that this will not happen again? So how do you respond to the situation makes you a resilient person? Now, accept that change is a part of living. As we always say that change is the only universal constant. So why don't we accept that change is a part of our living? Sometimes it is very difficult for us to change. Change from one place to another. Change from one city to another. Change from one job to another. We find change the most difficult thing to embrace. The early we learn that change is there. Change is going to come in our life. We also see different changes in our life right from your childhood to your adulthood to your th third phase of life. We always see different kind of change. Our body change, our gesture change, our relationship change. So we need to accept change with open arms and open heart. So the moment we start accepting circumstances that we cannot be cannot change, then it helps us to focus on circumstances that we can alter. See, there, there, will, all, there will always be two kinds of circumstances. One, which we cannot change at all. And second, wherein we can at least alter it. We can see that, okay, some amount of work, if I'll do or, on this particular circumstances, the situation will change. So how you are viewing the situation and how you are responding to the situation definitely lies in your hand. Next, move towards your goal. We all have goals in our life. You will have short-term goal. You will have long-term goal. You need to be very focused that you have to move towards your goals. If you deviate from your goals, then there will be many situations which will pull you. They will not allow you to go towards your goal. You have to be very, very focused. Have a timeline for yourself. This is the timeline when I'm going to achieve my short-term goals. This is the timeline when I'm going to achieve my long-term goals. So the, the moment you start developing the skill, you know, then accomplishing anything becomes much more easier for you. So do something regularly. You know, you need to set your goals. You have to do something regularly, however small it might be. If you want to go to gym and you are not able to go, for an example, start walking. Start walking 1,000 steps, 2,000 steps, 3,000 steps, however small it is. If you have a realistic goal, you can start achieving it again one step at a time. Start with small and ensure that you are, you are accomplishing it. This will help you to move towards your goal. Small, small steps will lead to the larger step. That is what you need to do when you are focused. But what is very important is your goal needs to be realistic. If your goal is something which is unrealistic, unchaseable, then however efforts you will do, you won't be able to chase it. Moving ahead, you need to take decisive action. Just don't keep on thinking that, yes, just don't keep on thinking that, yes, I have to do it. You need to take actions, you know, and action should be something which will give you result. So these actions are very important. You, they will bring you out of the situation. Sometimes we keep on thinking, okay, what to do? How do I come out of the situation? So rather than thinking how, what, where, when, take action and stand by your actions. So take decisive actions rather than detaching completely from the problem. You know, there are a lot of problems. You are stressed with that. Do not just hide yourself. Do not just go away. Be there. Take actions and move ahead. Look for opportunities for self-discovery. You know, we need to find out who we really are. When you discover your own self, you are able to handle the situation. So people often learn something about themselves 
and may find that they have grown in some respect as a result of the struggle and adversity you know if each one of you you have overcome some of the struggle some of the challenge or some of the adversity trust me you will have a story to tell that okay this was my situation and you know i did not give up that is what you have to do and that will help you grow internally you will be able to take decision more firmly in the similar situation if life will throw you in this kind of situation next is do we really nurture the positive view for ourselves it's very very important that you need to have the learner's mindset you need to have a winner mindset that you look for positive in everything in the most negative situation also if you will see you will find something which is positive which is worth considering which is worth celebrating so developing confidence in your own ability to solve problem and trusting your instinct will help you build resilience for that you need to have a winner mindset you have to see positivity in everything there is positivity around if you have that mindset start developing that mindset next is keep things in your perspective you have to be very clear when we are talking about your perspective you know sometimes will be there when you are facing very painful event try considering the situation i mean a stressful situation in a broader context that okay you are here in your house with your family members you are facing a difficult situation you just have to take care of your family now if i go to a broader context about you only you are facing the similar situation where your family is not there to support you where no friend of your is there and you are alone trying to overcome that you know things might be worse than what it is right now so whatever you have right now you need to be grateful about that and look for the long term problem solving perspective okay this is the problem i could solve it in a smaller perspective with everyone's effort what will happen when the perspective will be big when the situation will be big when the situation will be different and i will be alone so you have to consider different situation and develop a long term perspective in small term i was able to do this but in long term what i have to do that goal should be very very clear in your mind maintain a hopeful outlook very important that we need to have this hope you know hope keeps us going try visualizing what you want rather than worrying about what you fear every morning when you get up visualize what you want be hopeful about the kind of tomorrow that you want and the tomorrow will be yours you know you need to manifest it you need to visualize manifest and trust me it will be yours so rather than sitting where you are and fearing about the situation try visualizing whatever you want for yourself and this is very 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 important take care of yourself because taking care of your own self is not selfishness usually we take care of our family our friends our office colleague everyone but we do not take care of ourselves first thing that you have to do in your life is take care of yourself because again i'll repeat taking care of yourself is not selfishness if you are healthy if you are happy if you are mentally physically emotionally strong you will be able to provide support to everyone who is around you so what you need to do is you need to pay attention to your own needs first your own feelings and engage in the kind of activities that give you joy that give you enjoyment that those activities that you feel okay they are relaxing it is making you calm one way to achieve it is exercise regularly because when you exercise the kind of uh, you know motivation you get towards your body towards your feeling towards your entire surrounding that is something that will take you ahead that that is that is that gives you a escalation kind of feeling that yes i am doing something for my own self so i'm giving you now 10 quick tips this is just like a revision 10 quick tips how you can build your resilience okay so when we talk about tip number 1 tip number 1 says you need to take care of your body that i was talking about just now how do you do that your diet and nutrition eat healthy food exercise any kind of activity and exercise take out time for yourself and sleep and rest it is very important to take rest it is very important to have at least 8 hours of sleep whatever work schedule you have but sleep and take rest my tip number 2 is live to learn you know you need to have this learner's mindset and as per forbes report also the highest order 21st century skill is the skill to learn you know the learnability attitude so we need to be lifelong learner the more we learn the better version of ourselves we become 
my tip number 3 is engage in random acts of kindness you know do something good for others and trust me good will come back to you so have open heart receive it from others and give willingly so kindness pays in the longer run if life is a boomerang whatever kind deed you have done the kind deed will come back to you my tip number 4 is bring humor into your life we all are humans we want to be happy the basic purpose of our existence is to be happy if you do not have a happy and healthy life then we'll keep on sulking throughout so bring humor into your life the more humor is there the more happy and healthy you are tip number 5 little difficult but yes we need to learn to accept every time we might not be right every time the situation might not be the way we want we need to accept it willingly the more willingly we accept the better we'll be able to overcome that my tip number 6 is make your own reality so suppose for example if you have unhelpful thoughts plus you have negative feeling you know then the kind of person you are becoming that is self defeating behavior you are defeating your own self because of your thoughts and your fear feeling can you change it to helpful thoughts plus add your positive feelings then it is the most constructive behavior that is coming out of you and that is what will make you a resilient person my tip number 7 is be aware of the self destructive thinking yes we all have self destructive thinking you know we don't need anyone from outside to come and destruct us this we can do that on our own because we have this destructive destructive thinking you know we turn the situation into catastrophe how because we keep on thinking negative black and white thinking wherein we are just thinking okay this will happen that will happen if i'll do something this bad thing will happen we personalize and start associating anything negative that happens to anyone else with our own self okay we generalize over generalize situation it is like we mind read people that people are only thinking negative about, about us and we become a selective listener we only listen to what is negative we do not see positivity in anything we see negativity in each and every situation so when we do that we are actually falling into the destructive thinking so overcome that do not let it happen to you do not make things so worse that it will become difficult for you to become a positive person again so my tip number 8 is plant optimistic thoughts be grateful to everyone have a gratitude journal express your gratitude to anyone that you want to have and focus on the positive positive and positive aspect of life again i will repeat in any negative or the worst situation there can be something positive if i talk about pandemic as the worst and the negative situation the positive is we all are alive we understood the importance of our ecosystem we understood that yes we have to move ahead if we want to teach our children if we want to learn ourselves we really do not have to wait for the schools to open we have to move ahead and embrace technology now i have at least three good things happening to me right now how many times do we think that all of you who are sitting out there can you think of at least three good things that are happening to your life right now do we really think about that any three good things that's happening to your life right now can you think about that can you write in the chat box any good three things that you think is happening to your life right now anything that comes to your mind any three things that happening to you and whether you are ready to embrace that or not are you willing to learn from that are you happy with that if you can write in the chat box any three good thing that's happening to your life right now it can be i'm sitting at home and i'm learning something or uh, i i just got promotion or i had a wonderful breakfast or the coffee that i'm drinking is very nice so just just if you don't want to write the kind of things oh yes my life on track my child and my husband wonderful anything anything else can you think in think about positive things happening to your life is there anything positive that is happening to your life or is everything that you see is negative see when you write you start thinking positive oh stable home support from god i am doing what i love a good career learned guitar after much practice can resolve my mental problem came across my way wonderful so what is happening when you start thinking positively positive things happen to you so it all start from the mindset everything is there in our mind so start with a positive mindset and you will see that everything that you are doing is falling into place because it is positive your thoughts have the power to change everything around you 
So have positive thoughts and have positive life. Moving ahead, my ninth tip is identify your strength and enhance them. You know, somebody said that I overcame the mental uh, uh, issues. Somebody said I learned guitar. You know, so identify what you want. Similarly, identify what is your core strength, whether communication is your strength or say um, positive thinking is your strength or resilience is your strength or uh, embracing change is your strength. Identify it, enhance it, take it to the higher level. Yes, you know, this is your strength. Take it to a higher level. So my 10th tip and the last tip from the tip uh, bouquet is take action to build your resilience. Now you know your strength, you know everything about you. What is waiting for you to take action? Again and again, few things I'll repeat. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Reach out for help. There is entire world ready to help you. You help others and the world will help you. So we need to reach out. We need to give help so that we can get help. Work on being positive and optimistic. It is very easy to fall into the negative thoughts and become a negative person. But try doing something which is more challenging, which is little difficult, right? To stay positive. Do that. Use your strength for your advantage. You know these are your strength. Use them for your advantage and take control of your mind, your body, your thoughts. It is very important till the time you will not learn to take control of that, then you will be in the same cycle of negative thoughts. And as it is said in Sanskrit, yad bhav tad bhakti. The way you think, so shall be. So if you are thinking negative, negative will happen. If you are thinking positive, positive will happen. There are 12 powerful words I want to give you, to each one of you. And these powerful words, if you embrace in your life, if you make them a part of your life, trust me, you will be the most resilient person in this world. My first word, word is grateful. Are you grateful about everything that is happening in your life? Do you express your gratitude in the morning when you wake up? That yes, I am alive. I have a beautiful life. I have a family. I have a job. I have food to eat. I have a shelter. I have everything. I am grateful to my life. I am grateful to the world. I am grateful to my family. I am grateful to the God. The more grateful you are, the more willingly, willingly you express your thankfulness. Trust me, you are becoming more and more optimistic person and you will face any adversity in life in a most positive manner because you are willing to express your gratitude to every situation. However negative the situation is, you are saying, thank you God for this situation. Situation might be worse than this. I will overcome this situation too. So that is how you become a positive person. My second word is courageous. You need to be courageous. Because in the moment you get the courage, you need to move ahead. You know, because a courageous person is the one who can face adversity, who can overcome uncertainty. You have to do that. Otherwise, we are nicely sitting in our own comfortable zone. We are complacent because everything is good in our life. We have a job. We have income. We have good family. When we have everything, we sometimes lose our courage. We need to be ready for something that is called anti-fragile mindset. That is what if things will become worse? How am I going to face it? Do I have that kind of courage? Do I have the strength, the willingness to reach to my goal? whatever is the situation. So courage is a crucial part in building up your resilience. If you do not have courage, you won't be able to take decisive action. If you do not have courage, you won't be able to think out of the box and do something which the world is not doing. So you need to be courageous and you need to have confidence and trust in your own ability. My next word is limitless. You are limitless. Each one of you who is sitting in this Zoom room today, you are limitless. But are you able to feel it? Do you really feel that I am limitless? Or you have set the boundaries of fear, danger, risk around you. You know, we do that. We stay in that cocoon or in that box where we are very comfortable. That is our comfortable zone. We do not want to come out of it. But trust me, the moment you come out and you see this beautiful sky, look up and you will see abundance. And that abundance is you. You are limitless because you have limitless potential. But do you trust in that or fear is keeping you away or your anger is keeping you away or the fear of uncertainty and failure is not letting you go? The day you will believe that, yes, I am limitless, 
there is nothing that i cannot do yes fear will be there but i'll face it with courage yes negative thoughts will be there but i will replace it with positive thoughts if you will start doing it if you will start practicing it trust me you will overcome all the situation and every time you will feel that yes there is something that is aspiring you to move ahead so you are limitless believe in your ability my next word is grit i mean grit is something which is courageous which 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 makes you passionate which makes you perseverant to do something you know these are the crucial qualities of a leader of a person who wants to be resilient you know grit helps you to deal with any crucial any adverse situation with lot of confidence and that is the intelligent way to drive towards success so you need to be a person who has this passion who has this quality of grit so you are never giving up you are never ignoring anything you do whatever it is needed to get it done right and you redo if it is necessary and you give your 100% or more than 100% to achieve your goal that is what grit is next is next is open minded an open minded person is always willing to learn you do not stop your learning and you do not feel that okay um say i am the boss so i know everything no we learn from everyone we learn from our juniors we learn from our subordinate we learn from our family we learn from nature we learn from world we learn from everyone but do we have that open mindedness do we welcome new ideas so when you are an open minded person you are willing to accept new ideas you are willing to express you are willing to embrace change and that helps you during the adverse situation then you start seeing troubles in a very very different manner and then you approach them with a very different mindset and that is what is needed there will be troubling times there will be times which are really negative but you are this approach of open mindedness to embrace new and to fight with the adversity will keep you going my next word is being fearless when you are courageous you need to become fearless also so when you are fearless then again you know that yes you have to come out of this negative mindset or negative attitude or negative situation you develop your own mental strength you develop your own strength to overcome any of the situation because you know that yes i can do it so you know all these words that i'm giving you are interconnected to each other so a fearless person understand that fear is there dar to hai but as i told you dar ke aage jeet hai that is what you understand so yes we need to be nervous we need to feel the fear we know there is fear but how will that fear help me to grow that is what is resilience so the next word that i want to give you is fortitude now the fortitude is the word that is like in the most toughest of the situation fortitude will show you the route to get over it to overcome that so yes there will be situation when there will be pain adversity and that will be life's greatest conflict but enduring these challenges and enduring these challenging situations with fortitude is one of the most important and one of the best way to handle adversity and be resilient and that is what we have to do so we have to find courage we need to be mentally strong we need to be physically strong we need to let go all that negative self talk that we do we keep on talking in our mind everything negative about the situation so we need to let it go and we need to embrace fortitude because this will help you deal with any adversity in the longer period and because you have embraced this one quality trust me during the times when you feel like giving up fortitude will never let you give up it will tell you situation is tough but then you are tougher than the situation and you can overcome it my next word is self reliant so being self reliant means you are not dependent on others for your happiness you know you can you can look for happiness everywhere you can derive your own happiness and you keep everyone happy around you you are not dependent on others to overcome the situation you are not dependent on others to face challenges because you yourself are confident enough to face challenges face your fear you are not worried about how the world is judging you you know that you are doing right you have the quality of this resilient person or resilient leader who is willing to take decision during the most conflicting time and you are the one who is living who is leaving his or her impact 
on other people. So become a self-reliant person who do not look for happiness outside. You can derive your happiness from your within. My next uh, word to give you is insightful. So how insightful are you? You know, this one particular word insightful or to become an insightful person, this is really a necessary trait because that will provide you wisdom and intelligence during the times of uncertainty. There will be a lot of uncertain times in our life. But those times are the times when we have to think out of the box. We have to look for some creative solutions. And that is what is making you become more and more resilient day by day. So when you are insightful, you become a solution-oriented person, not just a person who is only cribbing about the situation. So rather than situation-oriented person, you become the solution-oriented person. Rather than looking for the difficulty, you look for the answers. You know, so rather than doubting your own self, you know your self-worth, you know your capabilities and you are ready to change the situation with your own capabilities, with your own insight. Moving ahead, my next word is independent. Being an independent person gives you that strength and courage that yes, I can do it, that confidence. So that is really needed for resilient mindset. If you are not independent, if you are still dependent on the entire world to take your decisions, to speak on your behalf, to work on your behalf, how will you become resilient? So what is needed is you are, you are an independent person. You have the control about on your mental situation, your physical situation. You trust your own capabilities. You trust your own ability and you keep on discovering what traits that you possess. When you do that, you come closer, closer and very closer to success. Next is hope. Hopeful. Without hope, there is nothing. When we get up in the morning, we get up with some hope. This is what will happen today. So hope keeps us going. Do not ever let it go away from your life. However bad the situation is, however tough the situation is, if you have hope, you will overcome it. You know, without hope, resilience cannot exist. So hope is one of the key traits for resilience because you are hopeful about something which will happen good. You always hope for good. Then moving ahead, it is initiative. Are you the person who wait for other to take the initiative and then you follow or you are the one who is willing to take the initiative, who is willing to walk the talk? Yes, there are uncertain situations. Yes, there are outcomes which are not uh, the way we were looking for. But do you have that kind of mental strength and stamina and confidence? And do you trust your own self to take initiative? Yes, I will take initiative. I'll take decision and I will go towards the right direction. There will be difficulty. Things will be unpredictable. But I trust my own instinct. I trust my own self. And as a leader, I will take initiative so that I can take everyone around and we sail through the situation. So be the person in the room who is ready to take the initiative rather than the person who wait for others to take the initiative and then follow. This brings me towards the end of the presentation. That is, you need to be strong. If you are physically, mentally, emotionally not a strong person, then you cannot be a resilient person. So resiliency means the power to keep going. You cannot give up. Situations will be adverse. That is what life is. Giving up will break you. Going ahead with the right kind of mindset, being resilient, bouncing back, however difficult the situations are, will make you who you want to be. So I want to present this small video about how you being optimistic, positive, hopeful can change the world. So let's see this video. Do let me know if you're not able to hear the volume. सर आपके लिए उस पार कार का इंतजाम किया है सर आइए सर ये चल चल
is the child who is true example of being a resilient person the child who was ready to initiate the change the child who was ready to take the path which was not conventional when the world was waiting for somebody to come and take the initiative the child was willing to take the initiative so keep that child alive in you because you know the moment we become adult we mask ourselves we do not do something which naturally we want to do we start thinking what will that person say what will this person say and that keeps us in the cocoon so let the child inside you be alive take initiative come out of your comfortable zone take care of yourself and the world is waiting for people like you who will change it and change begin from within so be resilient if this is the rubber band which i showed you in the beginning i can pull it as much as i want but it will still come back to situation bounce back life will throw us in different situation which are completely negative but how can you come back it's very simple have the resilient mindset mindset and nobody can stop you so be you be unique be your own version and keep on making yourself better and better by being resilient thank you so much now i am open for any questions thank you so much ma'am it was really a wonderful session to have with you there are few questions which i want to put up if you allow me yes please <clears throat> okay the first question is is resilience is the skill see resilience is skill also and resilience is mindset also so how do you bounce back bouncing back is a skill when the situation is telling you to give up if your mind is telling you yes i have to do it so it's a skill you can acquire the skill maybe we are not born with the skill or maybe the skill is there within us but we haven't identified it but we can sharpen it we can sharpen the skill by thinking in a different manner by looking at positive aspect in any negative aspect so resilience is a mindset resilience is a skill resilience is something that can be sharpened again and again and again so if there is situation when anyone could not bounce back or could not have a resilience in his life then how that person should come up with see there will be always life always gives us two option one is the situation is bad and we are there in the situation we are sulking and we do not want to come out tell me there are there are so many success stories of people who were in the most adverse situation in their life okay let me take an example of lot of cancer patients when they have this willingness that yes they want to fight back they do survive and there are beautiful success stories this is one aspect when there are people who were in in the situation wherein they thought that life has come to an end they are not willing to give up they survive so it's all depends upon again your mindset see if your mindset is ready to accept the situation and then improvise from there you will be a winner if your mindset accept the situation and you start thinking oh this is what has happened to me now this it will be like this only i will not be able to overcome so that negative self talk that starts in your mind that deteriorates the situation and you are most of the time not able to overcome that so again as it is said yad bhav tad bhakti the way we think so shall be an entire universe is there to listen to us if we if we throw something positive to the universe the positive comes back to us so when the situation is worse worst that time it is important to have positive self talk because your talks will be answered you ask for positivity positivity will come if you ask for negativity negativity will embrace you the next question is how resilience is associated with our personality traits oh it is i mean uh, if there are say 100 people in the room you will be able to find out who is the resilient person because this person will have a positive outlook the person will have lot of confidence in himself or herself the person will not wait for anyone to come and initiate the dialogue will go and initiate the dialogue okay with anyone so you will be able to identify a person who is open minded who is ready to learn from you so for example if i being associated to a school and i say i being the director principal i know everything i think i am not a resilient person because i am not open minded i am not welcoming new ideas if every day go i go and i learn from my students from my colleagues from my teachers i am taking that thing so you will feel you will feel in the persona of the person that this person in the most negative situation is also thinking about how to overcome it you will see the hope in that person rather than telling oh now it is worse 
and let not discuss about it because we might worsen the situation more. So these things are your personality traits. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the wonderful answers. The doubts which the audience have in their minds. I think everyone's doubt is has been cleared. If any more questions is there, please feel free to connect with us, and we will definitely contact you with the Negi, ma'am, for more updates and more feedbacks or more information regarding the resilience. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the wonderful session. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have a wonderful morning with you, and thank you to all the attendees from whichever part of the world you are attending. Keep learning because learning is one of the key trait of being resilient.